The Pacific Fishery Management Council is one of eight councils around the country with the responsibility of managing fisheries off the, in this case, off the coast of the west coast of the United States. And each of the councils operates essentially like a, like a board of directors. And that uh, council comes up with recommendations regarding what our goals are for fisheries to some degree and the different measures that we're gonna to use to make sure that we get there. So U.S. fisheries management is really a fairly novel thing. Our fisheries management starts with what's called the Magnus and Stevens Act, and that was put in place uh, originally in 1976. And that's where the Fishery Management Council system of the United States was first, uh, was first formed. There's a very robust system here in the Pacific, but also across the United States. Our U.S. fisheries are some of the best and sustainably managed fisheries in the world. It's a very democratic process where the councils are made up of representatives from uh, the tribes, the states, the federal management entities, as well as uh, representatives from the fishing industry and environmental organizations. And so these individuals uh, meet five times a year and consider regulatory proposals to ensure sustainable fishing operations and uh, make sure that there's food for generations to come. So science is one pillar of what we do and how we do it. Um, industry or recreational interests for that matter are another very important pillar of what we do and why we do it and how we do it. There's a very collaborative um, way in which uh, science is conducted. There's a very collaborative discussion that occurs between what the science is saying um, and what the industry might be seeing when it's on the water. I do think one of the most unique things about our Pacific Fishery Management Council is the collaboration we have with the fishing industry. I first started coming over 20 years ago mainly to know what was coming management-wise so I could hear it sooner, you know, uh, not thinking that I had any kind of sway, you know, in, in how the, the management went or anything. I just wanted to know what was happening so we could prepare our fishing business. And it took a while to figure out how this worked. The, the more you're there, the more comfortable with the with, with how things operate and you get to be more, you know, vocal. This process is very good at having opportunities to, to speak your mind. There is public comment, whether it's written comment beforehand, public comment in front of the council. It is very public process, which is, which is good. One thing we're very proud about at the Pacific Fishery Management Council is our record in maintaining sustainable harvest for future generations. I think one of the best things about the U.S. West Coast Groundfish Fishery and the Pacific Fishery Management Council is the degree of collaboration. At the end of the day, we're all trying to do the same thing. We all, we all realize that. 